saying that she would handle the situation offline, but then a couple of hours later posted a video statement, as you do. Because you know that old saying, if an influencer handles a situation off the internet and no one is around to hear it, did it even happen? No, definitely not. Sienna also ended her statement with my new favorite clapback, which she needs to put on merch immediately. Quote, if you have a problem with me, please call me. And if you don't have my number, uh, then we don't have a problem. Genius. Sienna just told her followers in a video statement posted at 2 a.m., quote, I unequivocally deny the allegations that I assaulted Jack Wright. I am not making an apology video. This is more of a statement, end quote. Sienna claimed that Jack was actually the one who assaulted her and that she didn't want to reveal this at the time and apologized to Jack for saying so, but felt she had no choice but to reveal this information after her name was slandered. And she said, quote, I have to protect myself before I protect you, you being Jack. Sienna then explained that she was, quote, strung along and misled by Jack and that Jack used her for the TikTok views when she really cared about him and gave her all her all and gave him all of her love and was very invested in the relationship. Sienna claims that she was misled and played by Jack in a relationship that wasn't defined because it was beneficial for Jack to keep their relationship undefined. She claims that this was, quote, a mental game that left her, quote, second guessing if there was a future. She admits they both said hurtful things to each other and she will never know if Jack truly truly loved her, even though he said it, but she knows that she was in love with him. Wow, this is so much to unpack. Also, it answers a lot of people's questions about were Sienna and Jack ever officially dating? Well, the answer was their relationship was always undefined, but he said he loves her and they were very much together and around each other. I don't know about you guys, but now I feel like the Hype House reality show, which I wasn't really excited to watch, now I'm like, okay, we gotta see it so we can see the truth about how their relationship is, really, hopefully. Uh, Sienna then addressed everyone involved in this whole messy situation, first addressing Mason. Mason is the Wright's twin's best friend who tweeted that claim that is now viral, that Sienna assaulted Jack. Sienna started losing brand deals and followers after this tweet surfaced. Mason also tweeted that he decided to delete these allegations at the request of Jack and Sienna's family to handle the situation offline, but it was too late as Sienna said to Mason, quote, we all know that none of this is true. Whatever evidence you think you have, either post it or send it to me and I'll post it because you have nothing. Actually, keep posting things because we all know that none of this is true and my legal team is gathering evidence as we speak. I hope you're ready for the real consequences that come from these seriously false allegations. Wow, Sienna, shots fired. The lawyers are working on this. So it looks like this has now become a legal case and not just a messy breakup which is just, I just hope everyone's okay. This is a lot, a lot. Uh, Sienna also said that James, um, that uh, Sienna also addressed, addressed James saying that she's surprised that he's so outspoken on an issue we both know you relate closely with, end quote. Then she claimed that, quote, it would really suck if her closest guy friends and her brother had to share the experiences they had with him. As she ended her statement with the line that I think she should make on merch ASAP, if you have a problem with me, please feel free to call me. If you don't have my number, then we don't have a problem, end quote. Also, it seems like her followers are Team Sienna as a top comment on her IGTV statement video is, quote, for everyone saying believe the victim, has anyone ever stopped to consider that Sienna is the victim here? Not the abuser, not of sexual assault, but of false allegations posted against her. She is stating what happened to her. Jack has not said anything. Right now, Sienna is a victim of defama defamatory defamatory claims and false allegations against her, believe her, end quote. Um, which is true, you know, we have yet to receive an official statement from Jack as we report this. Uh, the only statements we've gotten from Jack come from like the type of content he's liking, from some really cryptic memes that he posted, and also anything that his twin brother James has posted. So as of now, we don't really have an official statement from Jack, we just have Sienna's statement. I don't know if we'll get an official statement, I personally think that all of this stuff really should be handled offline and now we are dealing with a legal issue which means they should take it to the court and we should stop prying to figure it out. But we had to keep you guys posted on the latest in the situation because we know that you all were wondering what is going on and how's everyone doing. Um, but yeah, this thing is like, oh my God, there's more. Like the plot thickens. I tell you, the, the TikTok tea that goes down is probably better than any reality show. So maybe I take that back. Will we get this much drama on the Hype House's Netflix reality show? Probably not. We have a lot of drama right here, which has kept us pretty entertained. Um, so, how are you guys doing? Hello, Gray. Hi, May Maya. Hello to you. Um, curious if you guys think what is going on here. 
Um, uh, if you okay, so we're getting Samora thinks it's a PR stunt, which I guess I mean yeah. I, as I did say, ever, also at the end of every article about the situation, everyone's saying their Netflix show premieres very soon. So I guess it is kind of working if that was intentional or not intentional. Hi, Amory Jackson. Hi, Eduardo. Hello to you. Hi, M. Hi, hi, hi. Uh, there's Gina Rosenberg. You keep on asking where Gina Rosenberg is. That is Jana Rosenberg. She's a dear friend. She's doing really well. Definitely go follow her on social media. She is not here. It's just me. I'm Gabby. Nice to meet you. Um, uh, yes, a PR for the Netflix show. Do we think it is a PR stunt for the Netflix show? I mean, it is possible, although I will say if it is a PR right now uh, where this is like lawyers are getting involved. So that I feel like takes it above and beyond a PR stunt. Um, do we have any updates on SJ? Asked Natalie with an I. Um, SJ, I'm curious what you, Sienna, I mean, w w if you're talking about the Sienna and Jack, like, uh, yeah, we have the Sienna side, which I just reported and Jack coming soon. Um, Sabia, I am doing well. How are you doing today? Um, uh, but yes, how are you? Sophia, hello, lots of hearts. Thank you guys so much for your hearts. We love seeing you guys here. Um, and yeah, so uh, Sarah Blue, I don't, okay, hi Sarah Blue. Um, but yeah, I mean, this situation is just, it keeps on developing. There keeps on being more and more drama. I thought it was very interesting how they were saying they were going to handle this offline, but they are continuing to handle this online, and we keep on seeing the tea, and it's getting very, very messy. Um, but I do wish everyone well, because again, they are three sides to every story. His side, her side, and the truth. We don't really know the truth. We're trying to piece the truth together. Um, but it sounds like if lawyers are getting involved, that it will be the court of law that will decide on what the truth is, and not us. Um, uh, uh, Aisha says, I doubt it's a fake situation considering Sienna being canceled. I agree with you, Aisha. I think it, there's no way that it is a fake situation. I think this is a very real situation. Um, yeah, Sienna had lost a lot of followers. She lost brand deals. I think it's important that we listen to her, we hear her out, and we hear what is possibly going on. Uh, Amory says, yes, everyone is breaking up right now. That is so true. We are definitely, uh, I mean, it's, it's summer. It's officially summer now. It is hot boy, hot girl summer. People are single and ready to mingle. Uh, but I'm really hoping that any other breakups that happened are not as messy as this one because this one was just very, very messy. Um, uh, Darlene is saying, I don't know who is lying because I don't know them, but we know, we'll never know. Yes, Darlene, that is possible. We might not ever know. Um, yes, this is season two of TikTok. We are approaching, Kelsey said, we are approaching season two of TikTok tea, definitely. Um, uh, M is saying, I feel like TikTok drama just kept me through the quarantine. Yeah, um, I feel you. It's kept, I mean, hey, it's kept me employed through the quarantine. So thank you for that. Uh, yeah, this TikTok tea just keeps getting worse and worse. Um, and uh, Samora is saying, it's really messed up that this is what it has come to. I agree. I feel like this should have been handled offline. And I do think that, you know, I think Jack and James uh, being cryptic and posting those things and unfollowing and all that stuff. I feel like if you're going to have a breakup and you're a public figure, don't unfollow each other. Just mute them because the second you unfollow someone that you are supposed to be dating on social media, they are people who are watching your every move and it just creates more drama than there needs to be. Uh, this whole thing should have been handled offline. I think we also forget how young they both are. That's another big thing. I mean, they are high school age, so of course they probably don't know or understand why it's important to handle these things offline, but now it is a very, very, very messy situation. Um, and so it is crazy. Okay, you guys are hitting me up with the makeup tutorials. I just don't know how to edit and post on YouTube. I will try to do that someday, but I appreciate your kind words. You are very, very sweet. Um, and it's so, yeah, it's so crazy. This whole thing is nuts. Um, but we will keep you posted on what develops it. I mean, I feel like the next thing that's going to happen soon is we'll probably get a statement from Jack. I feel like it would be silly for him not to put out a statement unless this is being handled by lawyers, in which case I would assume they legally should be handling this offline uh, because this is getting really messy and very, very serious and nuts. Um, so yeah, the tea is boiling, says Darlene. I agree. Um, so now it is time for trivia. Today we are doing Kid Leroy trivia. So if you know the answers, let me know and we will get to it. First question, how old is the Kid Leroy? Is he 17, 19, 20, or, eight, or 18? We had him in the studio, uh, so definitely make sure you guys check out that interview when you get a chance. Uh, I'm getting 17s. You guys think he is 17. All right, I'm going to do 17 like you said. And that is correct. One out of one. We're off to a great start. Which country is the Kid Leroy from? Is he from the United States, England, Canada, or Australia? I think I know this based on his accent. He is definitely from the land down under. 
That is correct. Two out of two. We are crushing it. Next question. What is the Kid Leroy known for? Is he known for dancing? Is he known for rapping? Is he known for modeling? Or is he known for DJing? Well, singing isn't an option because that's what I would pick. But do you guys know, is he known for rap? I would say either between rapping or DJing, right? Uh, because I feel like he does kind of rap. Yes, rapping is what Maya is saying. <laughs> uh, Natalie with an I is saying he's known for Addison Rae. Yes, that was a big song that he had. But now he's like doing duets with Miley Cyrus. He was on SNL. He has really gone to mainstream and he's crushing it. So let's say rapping. That is correct. We are doing so well on our Kid Leroy trivia, much better than yesterday's trivia. What is the Kid Leroy's zodiac sign? Is he a Virgo, a Gemini, a Leo, or an Aries? I think he's a Leo because here's my theory on this. I remember once looking at all of the guys that Addison had either been dated or had dated or connected to, and like like Bryce Hall, almost every guy that she was connected to, including Kid Leroy, because you know he shot his shot with that song was a Leo. Yes, and you guys seem to agree. My long explanation is correct. Yes, Kid Leroy is a Leo and he is astrologically compatible for with Addison Rae, although he is a little young for her at this time. How many siblings does the Kid Leroy have? Does he have one? Does he have four? Does he have two? Or does he have zero? Is Kid Leroy an only child or does he have one, two, or four siblings? Do you guys know how many siblings Kid Leroy has? I'm getting a two and a one. Hmm, two, two. Okay, I'm gonna say two. Two feels like a good number. One or two, let's try two. I hope this is, no, it was one. Ah, my first wrong answer. What of the following rappers has the Kid Leroy performed live with? Did he perform live with uh, Juice World? Did he perform live with Kanye West? Did he perform live with 21 Savage? Or did he perform live with Future? So which one of these rappers has the Kid Leroy uh, performed live with? And yes, Giselle, you were right. It was one. You guys were all right. I should have waited. There's a lot of ones that came into the chat. I just missed up. Juice, you guys are saying he performed with Juice. So I am going to trust you. And that is correct. Phew, we've, we got a right answer. Uh, what day is Kid Leroy's birthday? Not the actual day, but the, the date. Uh, so we know he's a Leo. So was he born on August 17th, August 27th, August 15th, or August 21st? I can tell you this, a Leo, August 27th is no longer a Leo, so that is not his birthday. I also think the 21st is a little too late for a Leo. So it has to either be the 17th or the 15th, unless I'm wrong. Do you guys know the uh, what day, what is his birthday? Who knows Kid Leroy's birthday? I'm getting 17th or 21st, 17th. Okay, I'm gonna go with 17th. You guys think it's 17th? Yes, that is correct. Woo, it helps to know your astrology with these trivias. How old was Kid Leroy when he recorded his debut album? Well, we know he is currently 17, so was he 16 just a year ago? Was he 12, which is, oh God, I'm so bad at math, five years ago? Was he 14, which is um, uh, three years ago? Or was he 15, which is two years ago? So how old was he when he recorded his debut album? Debut album, I mean, I feel like it's probably 16 or 15 because I think his debut album was more recent than 12 or 14. Um, I'm getting a lot of 16s in the chat. Okay, I'm gonna go with 16 and it was 14. Wow, 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 wow. So I guess he's been, maybe he was doing the album in Australia before we knew him here in the States. So I got a six out of eight. How did you guys do on your Kid Leroy trivia? Um, I know some people even thought it was 18. He's not even 18 yet, he's only 17. And yes, Giselle got it, 14. Giselle, I have a feeling, got an eight out of eight because she had all the right answers uh, that I saw. Natalie, eight out of eight. Congratulations to you, Natalie. Uh, the team got a nine out of nine, which is not a score. So uh, I'm assuming you mean eight out of eight, in which case, congratulations. Uh, M got an eight out of eight, congratulations. Uh, six out of eight to Sabia. Eight out of eight to Giselle. Congratulations, Giselle. I had a feeling because you were throwing all the right answers in the chat. Um, Maya got a six out of eight. Great job, just like us. Congratulations. Um, I don't even, <laughs> oh no. Amore got a two, so sorry to hear that. Um, Levine Vat keeps changing her score, and now she's saying she got a 10 out of 10. Again, there were only eight questions, so I'm guessing you got an eight out of eight, in which case, congratulations. Uh, Samurai got an eight out of eight. Congratulations, amazing. Um, and if you're just joining us, we just reported on the statement that Sienna May Gomez just released after all the allegations of assault of involving Jack Wright. So definitely, you can watch this after. Go back and watch this. I mean, that story is nuts. It is so crazy. Um, hello, April. Hello, April. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. Um, uh, hello to you. Seven out of eight to Mark. 
Um, and thank you so much. Actually, my dress M is a jumper. They are pants that you can't really see, uh, and I just enjoy wearing it because it's very comfortable. Hello, Amory. Hello to you. Um, uh, thank you so much for liking my fit. I, I bet you're wearing a great fit, too, and I like your fit, too, so thank you so much. <laughs> I love a little compliment. Uh, so many hearts, yes. Uh, so you guys, I mean, this is so nuts. The story is so nuts. It's going to keep developing. I feel like we're going to hear more. I feel like we're going to get a Jack Wright statement, too, uh, because, again, Jack and James given an official statement on the situation. We do now have Sienna's official statement, which I think she did a great job explaining everything. I personally believe her. I feel like everything she said, it felt like she was being truthful and honest and speaking from the heart, but at the same time, being strong, which has to be so hard. I mean, this poor girl has been getting so much hate on the internet. Um, so I think that's, that's good that she spoke up. And thank you for loving my hair. You're so sweet. Um, I know, I said, I said, I've been saying hi to Amory a lot she's in the chat and I love seeing her in the chat. Um, and yes, so you guys, so great to see you all here. Um, uh, but this is really nuts. This whole thing is nuts. Guys, what do you think about the situation with Sienna and Jack? Do you think Jack will be giving his side of the story soon? I'm Gabby Conti and follow us at Hollywire for your 24-7 celebrity news.